Hi, my name is Net, and uh, I'm gonna show you a review of uh, ADP1. Well, first of all, I'm warning you, this is my first video, so uh, don't expect too much, and uh, if you don't have time, and uh, so on, you can skip it. But uh, thanks for watching anyway. So, uh, this is ADP1, it looks like uh, T-Mobile G1, but actually uh, it's a different brand. So uh, this phone you can buy it only from Google, and you have to um, you have to get uh, so uh, an account, a Google account, uh, which is a developer account, and uh, you have to pay uh, 24, uh, 25 dollars fee, which which is only one time. And with this uh, account you can uh, publish apps on the market and and so on. But uh, you can make such account to buy uh, to buy this beauty. Well, uh, the phone costs uh, $399, excluding taxes. This is uh, if you ship it to uh, USA. Uh, well, for other countries, it's it's different. So uh, this phone, uh, it looks like G1, but uh, it certainly have uh, some features which you can find in the regular G1 phone. When first of all, uh, at the back of the phone, uh, you won't see the Google logo. Um, Actually, uh, you can see uh, acute uh, figures and uh, at the bottom, a cute Android <laughs> fellow, which is uh, really cute. Now, uh, it has all the features which G1 presents, uh, 3.1 megapixel camera and so on and so on. But uh, it has uh, two or three features which you can find uh, in a regular G1. Well, Let's talk about them because they are really interesting. So the first feature is that uh, it is uh, hardware unlocked. Well, what does this mean? Well, you can put any SIM on it and it will work simultaneously. Well, now I'm not with uh, a T-Mobile SIM card, but uh, it, work it works fine. Well, this is not uh, uh, a phone which I've unlocked with certain code. Well, uh, it ships unlock. So uh, you can open it from the box and you can put any SIM and it's all on and working just fine. Well, uh, the thing you uh, I must point is that you have to uh, have some uh, data plan or at least uh, GPRS connection to act activate the phone. But from that point on, you don't need any uh, internet connection at all. Uh, well, this is the first feature which, which I found it really cool because I'm not in America, I'm not in Germany, UK and whatsoever. Uh, I'm not in uh, these cute countries and uh, if it's not the ADP one, uh, I won't have um, an, an unlocked phone. Well, uh, ADP one stands from Android Dev Phone 1, which uh, makes me think that it could be uh, ADP 2. Uh, which I hope it will be the HTC Magic, which will come maybe May or maybe not, I don't know. So uh, this was the first feature. The second feature is that uh, this phone is software unlocked. Well, what does this mean? It means that uh, you can install whatever operation system you want uh, and uh, if it is supported. Well, I heard some rumors which are confirmed. Uh, that you can install a Debian on it. Well, uh, I haven't tried because it's not so easy, but uh, you certainly can do it. And uh, you can install whatever uh, brand of Android operation system you want. Well, now I'm with um, Android 1.1, which is a specified modified version for uh, developers. Well, um, I have uh, search, uh, certain features with it. Uh, but you can in install uh, the cupcake, which we are all waiting, and you can install it right away. Uh, well, it's uh, it's a developer version of the cupcake, and it's not working uh, so fine. But uh, you can experiment and install whatever you need. So it's uh, software unlocked. And uh, the thing about it is that uh, the bootloader in it, well, has uh, no um, limitations in uh, an. A normally G1 phone, you can only install uh, signed versions, updates and whatsoever from T-Mobile and here you can install whatever you need. So um, that is most importantly. Uh, well, here is one disadvantage. Well, uh, while this phone is rooted officially, 
uh, not like G1 because uh, you may know that uh, G1 can mm -hmm. uh, G1 is not root. You have an, you have not root access, but uh, you can hack it and uh, root it. But it's not legal. And this phone is uh, legally rooted, and uh, it has one disadvantage. It can't support for now. I hope Google will enable it. It can support uh, copy protected apps. Well, in the market, you have an option when you publish an app. You have an option uh, to check uh, if you want your uh, app to be copy protected. When uh, your app is copy protected, uh, you uh, you can't install it on uh, such phones, on uh, ADP phones, which ha which have um, the their version of the operation system. Well, uh, so. Um, to all developers which uh, are thinking to enable code protection in their app, well, uh, at this point it sucks. Well, it doesn't provide really code protection. Many users which have G1 uh, have rooted it and uh, have uh, installed um, code protected apps and they are now spreading them all over the world illegally. So uh, your app is not protected when you uh, press this copy protection future it uh, you only makes it uh, difficult to install from the from the market forum i uh, i'm reading and i'm uh, contributing and i'm seeing uh, a lot of uh, angry users which can't install such copy protected uh, applications or their g1 phones not uh, adp phones or their g1 phones and also uh, a copy protected app uh, takes uh, a lot more uh, memory to install. So we all know that we have a spare space here. Uh, I've got uh, 56 megabytes of free space. And uh, well, when I st um, when someone uh, tells me that uh, his application will take more space because it's code protected, and uh, this code protection sucks, well, it doesn't make any sense. So please Google make better code protection and uh, allow everyone to uh, gain access to such apps. Well, thank you and uh, have a nice day.